I got a boat taking on water at uh, six miles from where Rocky Point. There are three adult passengers. They are not sure if they're going to make it. I had Ed, Paul, and Chris Arneson en route trying to meet up with them. Now, that was uh, emergency radio traffic from last Wednesday, September 15th in the evening. At the time, there were high winds and swells of up to seven feet tall on the uh, lake. Uh, the three m- f- missing fishermen ended up spending the night in the water after Arnesons went out that evening trying to locate them, but were unsuccessful. They were found Thursday morning by some uh, musky fishermen. Here's a message from one of those uh, fishermen who helped uh, rescue the missing men. Quote, at approximately 6.30 a.m., about a half mile north of Garden Island, we happened to notice something odd floating in the distance. As we got closer, these people started waving at us. We cruised over to them and saw their boat was tipped over with two people sitting on top of the boat, and another guy was in the water hanging on. They said their motor quit working at approximately 8 p.m. last Wednesday night, and a wave pushed them side- sideways, capsizing the boat. They were in the water for just over 10 hours. Uh, They managed to get them all in the boat and took them about 15 minutes uh, to Flag Island. Uh, The sheriff then picked them up from Flag Island and brought them back to Arneson's, unquote. The three men have now been identified as 55-year-old Rodney Hubert of Des Moines, Iowa, 61-year-old Stuart Lubert of Red Wing, Minnesota, and 61-year-old James Miluski of Bodorant, Iowa. All three survived a cold night in the water with no injuries and a fishing tale to last a lifetime. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.